We want to turn now to the war in Ukraine, where for the first time, President Biden is calling the invasion a genocide. Today, Vladimir Putin delivered a speech saying the invasion is going as planned and will continue until his country's goals are met. This comes despite a major withdrawal by his forces as Ukraine anticipates more Russian attacks focused on the Donbass region in eastern Ukraine. Meanwhile, pro-Kremlin Ukrainian politician Viktor Medvedev was taken into custody today. The Putin ally was charged with treason last year and escaped house arrest in February. Correspondent Kelly Beeson joining us now. Kelly, the two know each other very well. Putin is actually his daughter's godfather. You're absolutely right, Marnie. And he denies any wrongdoing in this case. We spoke today with former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Defense, who says Putin has demonstrated he only cares about maintaining his power. And this alleged personal relationship likely won't play a role at all as this situation unfolds. Ukraine's Secret Service have now captured fugitive oligarch Viktor Medvedchuk, a top ally of Vladimir Putin. The oligarch had been under house arrest since last year on treason charges, but escaped shortly after Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine. Medvedchuk is a pro-Russian figure who says Putin is godfather to his daughter. He also denies any wrongdoing. His lawyer adding Medvedchuk had been forced to move locations due to threats from nationalist groups and had informed the authorities about them. No, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it will probably make Putin angry, but... He's already uh, very angry. Former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Defense Andrew Weber says the move shows Medvedchuk was a major source of information about Ukraine for Putin, adding it's clear the Russian president didn't fully understand the situation in Ukraine, miscalculating the invasion as a result. He's essentially a bad man for Putin. He's a thug who longs uh, incarcerated. It comes as Putin announced today peace talks with Ukraine have hit a dead end. The Russian leader insisting that his campaign is going as planned, vowing his troops will win. The Russian military performs very poorly on the battlefield. The chances of Putin lashing out using uh, terror weapons, weapons of mass destruction are only increasing. And Putin insisted that his invasion aimed to protect people in parts of eastern Ukraine controlled by Moscow-backed rebels and to ensure Russia's own security, adding the invasion will, quote, continue until its full completion. Kelly, as always, thank you. To Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.